Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you very, very much for clicking on this video. Thank you very much for taking your time out to watch this video. I really hope you enjoy it. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for um, everyone that has watched my previous video, which was my um, worldy moment. Sorry, I've got a bit of hair somewhere. Do you just hate it when you've got like floating hairs? You just can't. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my previous video, which was my worldy moment. I really got a lot of views on that. Um, views on that. I didn't actually expect it, and I'm really grateful. And I have subscribers. Yay! I really want you guys to join this this situation. This this situation is growing. It's slowly growing. It's been a couple of weeks now since I've been on here. First video. I think I'm gonna do a reboot. I'm going to do a reboot on the first video. Today, I uh, reviewed two products today that obviously you'll see in the title of this video, what I reviewed, and um, this is the final look. I'm actually going to expose myself this time. No, not, not, not that type of exposure. I'm going to keep it PJ Universal, you know? But I'm actually going to unveil what's under, actually under all this, underneath all this makeup to you guys for the first time as in some of my friends haven't well not my well, some of them yeah a few of my friends actually haven't actually seen me bare face you guys gotta you guys got like a preview here it's not special to me do you know my friends are special as well don't get me wrong i'm trying to like let you guys know me know what i'm about see what all this is about <laughs> as i said thank you very much for clicking on this video thank you for watching new subbies appreciate you new people that are starting to watch please join it's going to be a fun moment thank you very much and continue watching <laughs> why do i do that clicking thing i don't understand okay let's just wait for that bell to stop it's 11 okay hi guys thank you again for clicking but what i want to say is Thank you very much for my new subscribers. Thank you much for taking your time out to watch my video. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Please continue to watch. I'm going to be bringing out... Oh, gosh. I'm going to bring out a lot of content. Obviously, gradually. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, um, it's hard to film during the week. And it's not only just a 9 to 5 hour shift because the type of job I do. I have to work crazy hours because of clients like abroad and stuff. But but anyway, so with this video, thumbs up, click, and just say hi. I'm going to need a, um, a bit of feedback. I am actually reviewing two products, which is the first one is Revolution Conceal and Glow. This is my first time actually using um, a Revolution foundation. I use like, some of their brow products. I've tried some of their lip glosses, didn't really cut it for me. And yeah, so basically I'll be reviewing this. And I shall also be reviewing the new Laura Mercier Translucent, Trans <laughs> Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Honey. So what's weird, I don't know if it's just maybe because it's the uk their packaging is quite different for some reason since i ordered it and it got delivered i have not actually opened it because i just want to have a true kind of in the moment uh, experience i obviously share that with you guys so uh i shall be reviewing this today as well as the foundation as you can see no there's nothing wrong with your with your viewing i've come bare face this is this is this is a huge deal for me you can see in the beginning of the video i started blabbing 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 i never show my face I'm very conscious of my face. I thought I might hear on YouTube now with two videos and I might as well just start somewhere. When am I going to wait like after 10 videos and then you guys can see my bare face? Like, does that make sense? Not. <laughs> so anyway, I kind of like did my hair, hence the ringlets that look kind of like 1997. And I've pinned up my front, which is going to be like, you know. And as you can see, I've done my nails, even though my hands look hella dry. I need moisturizer let's just pretend we didn't see that okay as i say i've come to you bare face i have a lot of hyperpigmentation i just came off my time of the month <laughs> and you know sometimes you're on the time of the month things start to pop up and i'm trying to get them back down again i've done my face in regards to my morning routine never basic situation i use a lot of oils creams and lotion because 
I do have oily face realizes that my face needs moisture so anyway let's get to it because I've just been blabbing on and not been doing what I need to do okay let's just get into it it's gonna be a lot of this it's been six months Simon it's been ages since I got my nails done so for primer I'm gonna go into my milk hydro grip love this blop so I'm at the back of my hand I'm gonna go and prime my face oh just rub that in i really oh gosh i just got my lash off i really love this primer okay we're tacky we're tacky we're tacky i did want to use my becca as well i'm gonna put that in my t-zone i have to be quick today because um i've got to go somewhere with hubby let's go for a bit of shopping get a few things I'm getting like really um dark nowadays and um, because honestly filming i don't have the best light and to be honest but yeah that's all set okay are we looking ashy let's get into the foundation i'm gonna be using this brush and it's a pcr8 from peaches and cream it's very nice kind of like flattened brushes angled it's like a buffer brush i want to go into this foundation so i'm kind of scared this is the f18 I don't know if you guys can see that i don't know it looks a bit too chocolate my face is dark but my chest is kind of light and then my neck is the next colour with marks and stuff. So it's like, I it's hard for me to match without look, trying to look weird. would love to match my chest, but then it looks like I... Hmm, it looks like I'm trying to lighten my skin because my hands are darker than my chest, as you can see. And my face, hands, different tones. I'm kind of ombre out here. This shade is, I think it's going to be kind of dark. I did go and order 16.5, but I thought let me start off with the F18. F16.5 is on its way. So I'm just going to blot some of that on. Oh, that is dark. Okay, so um, I should use a foundation brush for this. So I'm going to apply this with a foundation brush, and this is the um, Peaches and PC. Oh, one. oh my gosh it's gonna be weird but like it's not too bad let's see hmm. okay i don't know what do you guys think um okay that's a, almost like one and a half pumps but i don't know if that's too dark or not or is it just right? It's very red though. I don't know if it's those foundations that you kind of have to work fast that it dries down, but this is supposed to be glowy. Ooh, the finish. The finish. It literally matches my face, I think. I don't know, you guys have to kind of help me here. Does it match my face? <laughs> it matches my face, but as far as rest of my body, it's kind of dark. Okay, I'm going to be quick because it looks like it's dried down. Maybe I didn't pump enough. Obviously on the forehead, you don't want to put... I keep doing this. I'm sorry, guys. On the forehead, you don't want to put too much to get rid of this halo. You need to get rid of that. Well, I'm going to try anyway because this brush is kind of big. I'm going to pump some more. Just around here. Yeah, let's bring it down just a tad. I don't even think there's any need for me to contour, but I'll use like a powder. Yeah, so I use a powder contour to contour my face. I'm not going to cream contour because there's just no point because this is, this is dark enough. But guys, I have to say, the finish is not bad. It really isn't. I really like it. I don't know if it's a shade for me because again, face, neck, it's like it's, it just gradually gets darker. So I think I'm going to try a lighter colour. Finding my shade and foundations, especially during this corona situation, has been hella hard. Mm. Just going to put it down here. Okay. But the finish is really nice, guys. It is really nice. I didn't expect this. Really nice. Okay, let's just continue on. I'm going to use the same concealer that I've used in my, my previous video, which is a Too Faced uh, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Mahogany. I mean, 
Anyway. So, to blend out, I'm going to be using a PC04 brush. So, I'm going to try a little bit of... Should I go with a bright arm? Just a little bit. I'm going to go to my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 12. I'm just going to use that to just highlight slightly in the middles. That is nicely blended out. What do you guys think? Is it blended out? Have I done anything wrong? The comment section is open, guys, for... Any anything that you guys want to say to me, I want to say hi. She was gonna say, How you doing, bro? So, I'm just gonna use my foundation brush just to kind of like not tone it down, but just kind of like get everything in place. I kind of look ashy, I don't like it. I don't, anyway, shade. Translucent powder, Lauren Mercier powder in honey. Ta -da! So this is it. Um, I don't know if you've obviously there's been a lot of reviews to say that the wording at the front has changed, which is kind of cool because kind of says it's new, but this is the um medium deep. The font is slightly different. This is the original translucent as well. Again. Did I actually show you? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on, oh, it's on both sides. They're both on both sides. I didn't know that. This is it. So you can see the colour difference. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to open it up and show you guys. This is my first time. You can see it has the normal seal. I don't know if you guys can be able to see, to see the colour that way. But yeah. Some of them say that um, it was looking kind of peachy nails <laughs> struggle life <laughs> i can't get this tab anywho so i'm gonna shake it and try and see if we can get some products and we have oh okay so i don't know if here is a good way to show you guys the color but that's the that's the color I don't know but yeah that's the shade let me quickly show you guys it's against translucent there are the two shades you guys can see it's quite obviously there's a difference a hue and a very orangey peachy hue in the new one and this is it against the medium deep huge difference so next to it it actually kind of breaks it brighter which is weird i'm gonna use this in my camera but yeah that's the difference. What I would thought I was going to get was um, a kind of similar kind of shade to the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder in shade 3 Banana. I know it's Honey Banana, different like names, but I thought it would be kind of like similar to this, but it really isn't. Because I think, oh my gosh, I've got a dupe. But this one, the Laura Mercier one, is kind of deeper in colour but almost the same but it's just slightly deeper anyway we move let's get into it got no time to waste so I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, my Morphe 55 M554 brush like a flat powder brush I'm just going to use that to dab in so I'm going to grab some of the product Ooh. Tap it off. I've got some here. But yeah, oh, got a dab. I'm starting to crease. So we should be good to go. Going in now with um the as much as minimal product as possible. I'm just gonna start in the inner corner. Okay. guys think so i've got a bit more product and i'm just gonna oh that was oh that was a lot i'm just gonna tap that in should we bake i 
I don't think I've baked in a very long time. I didn't really bake. I baked a little bit, but I used to always come out ashy. So, and I don't know if this is drying, but it's very smooth. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And just kind of like... Okay, I, put, I think I put a bit too much on the side. <laughs> to be honest, like on the first go. So I'm just going to make this even as possible. Do we want to snatch our nose? We'll grab a little bit and just kind of like place that in the middle. Let's go to the forehead. I'm looking very casket ready right now. I'm getting worried. Very, very worried. Do we let that sit for a bit? I've forgotten how to bake. It's not bad. It really isn't. I don't know. What do you guys think? I look very ashy. I'm going to go in with um, shade 5 from the HMB Cosmetics um, loose, soft focus loose powder. I mean, number 5 in shade deep. And I'm going to use that to reverse something at the bottom. Grab some of that on my brush. Going in, I'm going to. Put that here. I should use it, should have used a medium deep to compare it. I haven't even bronzed yet, but we we, we, we will bronze, we will bronze. I'll add a little bit of contour. Should I? Yeah, I'm just gonna use that to set the rest of my face to be honest. So, I'm gonna contour a bit using the Sahara, um, the new bit, new bins, the dubious place. Uh, Sahara Blush Volume 1 palette. I'm just going to grab this colour here just to contour a bit because it's a bit dark. I'm just going to use this brush to do that. I know it's not the right brush, but that's the brush I use. So don't come for me. Oh, maybe it's because it's against this colour. No, no. We're not going to do that. Oh, okay, let's just do this side so that. Who? When, when did I ever use that for contour? Please tell me. I'm going into the chocolates palette from Jeeva's Place and grabbing this dusty shade here. When did I ever? I don't know what's wrong with me today. It's Sunday morning. I'm tired. So yeah, let's just put this in. I think we salvaged that. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So um we need to be quick so i'm just going to use my same brush that i used for setting the rest of my face i'm going to use just to kind of dust off it's not manipulating it to be honest it shouldn't anyway but i should have used a new brush this is a really terrible review guys i'm really sorry maybe because i'm in a hurry i'm just like all flustered and stuff but I have to say, it's not that bad. What do you guys think? It's not, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. So we're going to use some bronzer. We're going to use normal stuff. I'm going to go into, I think I should go into both Supreme and Prodigy from the Morphe uh, Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. So I'm going to use both of them to just kind of tone this down. I'm going to use my M5 own eye brush. Go in with Prodigy first. It's not really that bad. It really isn't that bad. I'm just going to use a little stippling brush just to kind of contour my nose. Oh, so lightly. I'm just going to even going to use something else to buff that out. But, yeah. Okay, you guys have to let me know what you think. If you think this is a yay or this is a nay. I'm going to go into Supreme now. I'm 
I'm going to my um Morphe oh just a pad filter effect um finishing powder in filter 13. Hi guys, just thought I'd do a voiceover here because this video is getting way too long. So I'm just using the powder here just to blend everything together, make sure everything is blended out. And I'm going into my highlighter from Juvia's Place. Can't remember the name, but I'll be sure to put that in the comments below. So I'm just going to go in some blush now from the Saharan Volume 1 palette to put on my cheeks and the side of my nose and just on top just to make sure everything's nice and blended. Also just tying up the um, 1.1 lash line to the wing and using the Chocolates palette from Juvia's Place. Just tapping up the top of the lids there. I'm going to go with the liner from Morphe Trendsetter. Lipstick, MAC and Tiana Taylor, um, in the shade I Got A Man, and the lip gloss, Ain't Got No Manners. Going with some setting mist from Morphe and Wet n Wild Mascara in my bottom lash line. Here you can see I'm actually struggling with the hair clips on my hair, but I got through it. <laughs> So this is the final look. I'm kind of happy how everything kind of came out. The foundation is nice. It kind of sat well, even though it was a bit too deep for me. I don't know if it's kind of like showing on camera how like if there's a contrast or anything, but I think the powders that I've used, I've kind of like toned it down a bit, but the finish is actually really good. I really, really like this foundation. I can't wait to try out the light, the slightly light shade, just to see, <laughs> just to see if everything kind of, you know, will gel a bit better. But I think I did, I think I did, I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Yeah. So, and the loose, uh, the new honey translucent powder, it's a work in progress for me, as in like in regards to using it. So, um, it's uh, it's nice. It's not drying. I don't know, I'm just coming up closer so you can guys can see, you know. <laughs> but anyway, it's um it's nice. It's kind of it brightens a bit. I really like it. It's not too bad. It really isn't too bad. I really like it. Um I'm yet to play around with it a bit more. This is like my first impression, so it kind of took me back a bit because of the brightness. I wasn't quite sure on what I was going to get but I absolutely love it I hope you guys liked it like it too tell me what you guys think have you guys actually tried it out what's your experience on it normally at this stage I would have put a bit of my Charlotte Tilbury um airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade like three like under my eyes but this is really kind of like blurred itself out if that makes sense it's kind of like created a nice smooth kind of finish so i'm really liking it so um again guys thank you for watching i'm really sorry that this video is a bit weird and all over the place but um i'm kind of like in a hurry to go somewhere but anyway thank you very much again for watching take your time out to watch this video i try to do a review I'm learning, I'll get there, I'll get there one day, I'll get there one day, so just bear with me. But the fact you can watch this video means that you're with me on this, you're with me on this journey, this journey of makeupism. Makeup is so but yeah, I really hope you guys like this video, hope you guys like this look. If you have any questions, please again, mention it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> but thank you again, bye.